drills it to deep right center field. That ball hit way back, and there is career pinch hit home run number four. Spezio had struck pay dirt with a long ball. He's just 50 years old, and man has Scott Spezio lived a lot of life, from being adored to being addicted. But he's still standing and thriving again. He's our spotlight feature tonight. With the help of photographer Randy Schwankert, we give you the Scott Spezio story. Morris is a quiet town in southwestern Illinois, an hour outside of Chicago. About 14,000 live there. Perhaps no name is more famous there than the one on this billboard, Spezia. The sign reads, Furniture, Appliances, and Television. But for many, that name means baseball. Scott Spezio, a three-run home run to right field. It's just an unbelievable feeling. I mean, when the ball hits the bat and you don't, you just, you just like a click. And you're like, oh, I just got that perfect, you know, and, and it's what you, you practice your whole life for. Scott Spezio's whole life was baseball. His father, Ed, played on three pennant winners and two World Series champions with the Cardinals in the 1960s. Ed knew at a young age, Scott had skills. But I made him a priority, and as he came along, I could see at two and three and four years old, this, you know, he's getting bigger and he's getting stronger, and he's got a good hand-eye coordination, and by the time he was eight, it was unbelievable. Uh, when I was younger, we'd hit in the front yard here with tennis balls, um, and then I started getting to the point where I could hit them close to the neighbor's houses <laughs> across the street. It was on to Morris Community High School, where Scott's jersey was retired, and he was the MVP of the conference. Wired from Chicago in the Aguilera deal. There goes Spezio high and deep. Spezio's star started to shine in the big leagues with the Angels. Yes! 2002 was the biggest moment. Of, the bigger the moment, the better he was. 2006, the Cardinals won the division on this hit against the Brewers. Fastball, pull it into the right field corner. It is down. One run is in. Another runner coming on around. And Kendall says, come on. A few weeks later, in game two of the NLCS, Spezio's two-run triple was the key hit in a crucial game two win against the Mets. To have that feeling and see it, the ball zooming off your bat, is, there's just nothing like it. Spezio became a cult hero. He had that fire engine red patch, which became vogue with Cardinal fans. And that tattoo, that tattoo of his second wife, Jen. I want to show her how dedicated I was to her. But the amazing thing about Spezio's productiveness and popularity was he was becoming an addict. In 2007 is when I, I started using cocaine and, and I was always trying to balance. So I would, one was an upper, one was a downer. So I was constantly trying to balance to be able to, to play and survive. And at that point in 2007, you know, uh, I basically became an addict and an alcoholic all at once. And my whole, my whole, every day was basically trying to figure out how to balance and, you know, um, survive. And because if I didn't drink, I'd get the shakes. And, you know, if I didn't use, I'd get tired. And so it was a horrible place to be. A one pitch to Spezio. But he kept hitting. There was that two home run game in Arizona. The next night I hit another home run, and then I didn't do it, and I, I went 0 for 4 with four strikeouts. And so then I was like, oh, I better, you know, and I was, I did like a line or two or three or four, maybe it was four lines, and uh, which is all too many. <laughs> but the problem was then I started thinking, oh, well, maybe this is like a, you know, it's a superstition thing. In all, it was a 13-year addiction with 12 trips to various rehabilitation clinics. And then there was that incident in Irvine, California, where he received six misdemeanor charges after crashing his car. I probably had a concussion, and uh, I went to my, to my uh, condo and couldn't get in. Went to a friend's house and started throwing up because of the concussion. He got mad at me. I, I, I think I hit him in the eye. About five years ago, Scott met a very important person in his life, which helped him in his fight against addiction. 
Tanya Boyer, a woman from his hometown. But on April 5th, 2018, she thought she may have lost her friend. I watched him turn yellow from head to toe within 36 hours. And then your next move was? Get him to the hospital. And if he wouldn't have, I don't know if he would be here today. During it all, his father had gone to a counselor to find out how to deal with an addict. It's so hard to do, but as the teacher kept saying, it's the hardest thing you'll ever have to do. And if you don't do it, he will die. That's the way he put it. If you don't do this, or anybody around you doesn't do it, you will have a bad, bad ending to this. The answer was to cut him off. And in terms of him having that bad ending, Spezio did not. Instead, he hasn't had a drink in 1,683 days. He teaches the game to kids in the area at his batting cage, just like his dad did with him. Down one, bottom of seven. This is to be the greatest of all time, right here. Here you go. Base hit up the middle, World Series champ. And when he's not celebrating with a student, he's celebrating the gospel with his therapy group in town. Thank you for this fellowship and this, this group. Spezio is not afraid to tell his story to help others. Or in this night, he's sharing his story with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in St. Louis. The tattoo of his ex has been replaced with a cross. I'm doing great, you know, so I think somebody's looking out for me. <laughs> do you want to do cocaine? Do you want to have a glass of alcohol? No, not at all. So that's a big difference. Um, before, when I'd quit, I don't think, I, for me as a Christian, I, I, I finally had to give it to God and, and let him drive. Just hold it steady. Okay. He did go through this for a reason, and his reason is to try to help other people, just to keep them from either going through what he went through or to help them see that you, you can get beyond it and you can have a positive impact and a positive role in life. I always say, as long as you've got a pen, as long as you've got a breath, you know, you can always write a happy ending. Making <clears throat> major leagues, maybe one in one million, one in two million, starring in a World Series, maybe one in 10 million. What you're doing right now is tougher than that. Besides managing his addictions and his strong Christian faith, perhaps what Scott is most proud of is his closeness with his kids. He has four of them. He calls the relationships, quote, awesome. We'll take a break and we'll be right back.